Okay, I wanted to do a quick run through of this piece just to show how it works. Um, as you can see, it's magnets. I've been trying for a while to come up with an idea for something that, that involved only machining one piece, one part, and uh, this sort of satisfies that there are two halves, but they're each symmetrical. Um, I also kind of wanted to do something working with magnets for a while, so um, to be clear, I don't, I don't really consider this a slider because the mechanics are very different. It doesn't have that little detent insert. This is um, completely different design. So those of you who are saying this is kind of like a slider, you're right, but, but I think it's different. It's different in my head, and, and this, is, this is a lot of fun too. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, each half has three magnets, and then there are four little tracks for ball bearings to run in. Now, um, I'm using steel ball bearings at the moment because the magnets hold them very nicely into their respective tracks and they don't need an actual um, keeper of any kind or, or, or a cage. Um, the, I have ceramic bearings too. The ceramic bearings run a little bit nicer, but they're not magnetic. So um, I think if I send these out to you guys, I'll, I'll include both so you can have a preference. The only difference is if the ceramic ones, if you take it apart, you'll very likely lose them. Um, the steel bearings, obviously, even if you pop this apart, they're not going anywhere. Back on an early version, here's an early version. Uh, I was trying different magnets. This one, um, as you can see, had one track and three bearings each, and this magnet um, kept the, the bearings from riding into each other quite well. The little magnetic field it induced did that all on its own. Um, but the magnet was wrong, uh, the travel was shorter, and if you use ceramic bearings, they kind of got together and started binding on each other. So <clears throat> it was a nice experiment, but didn't didn't work out. So yeah, as you can see, each of these runs in its own little track, and, it, and the, the magnet still helps center it. Um, but that's it, the two halves go back together like yay. And then uh, there you go. That's all it holds it together is magnets. And, and while it's in center, it's it's near, it's very hard to get apart. I, this isn't gonna fall apart on you or anything like that. Um, the easiest way to take it apart is to open it first and then you can kind of just kind of pry it up with a good bit of effort, pry it apart um, and get your, your, get to your bearings again. Now, it, as far as functionality, it, it works great. It's fun. It, you know, it's a normal two uh, because it's three magnets. It has it has three positions: center, and then one to either side. Um, and then there's a little bit of extra track so that you can go like this is the stop point. You can go past it, and if you let go properly, it'll fling back to center, which is uh, quite nice. Only, I guess, I guess the only issue that I, I see with the design, and, and again, I don't really think it's an issue because these are, I, I kind of think of these as sort of conceptual sculpture pieces, so they're not really meant for, I guess, wider consumption. The, there's a, you know, slight gap here. Um, I tried to get the spacing right for this to, to have the right feel a little closer and it's too tight. Um, a little further, it's too loose, but I think I've got the sweet spot here. Um, but but there is a gap. You can easily see the bearings, um, and then when you open it, obviously the tracks are exposed. So it's it's going to be a little susceptible to dirt, um, but it's easy enough to take apart and clean. So that's the only you know issue that I foresee with this thing. And then you know otherwise, I expect it to stay together just fine in your pocket or messing with it. I mean, you can you can really push on this. This isn't gonna pop out, the, the tracks are good. Overall, I think it's an interesting piece. Again, I don't really think, it, think of it as like a slider, but uh, it does slide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a, it more glides because it's on, it runs on the bearings. So it's gliding on the bearings and so it's a magnetic glider. So I'm gonna go with that.